Hello and welcome to another special video with you and tonight we've got the Toy World Bulldog movie series Mark 1 Tank of World War 1 and I'm gonna say this right out of the bat I think we have a contender for my favorite Transformers third party of 2019 so far he is that good seriously <laughs> don't just buy it <laughs> but yeah just gonna make a really quick review uh, here's a box. It's a rather nice box. We got a uh, good-looking bulldog right here in the cover. We got a tank here, a Mark One World War One tank, and yeah, it's such an awesome figure. Seriously, it's one of my favorite. I just can't put it down since I got it. So on top, bulldog with an explosion. Same thing on the back. Well, underneath, TWFS01 movie series. Not sure about the FS stands for, but yeah. Oh, well, you see, this is a, uh, this is Bulldog from the um, Last Night movie. Uh, we've got a few scenes, like one or two minutes in the whole movie where we see the tank transform into the robot and so on. And we never got a figure of him. And it was uh, really disappointing because he's actually really awesome. So on the side, we've got the same cover as the front. Same thing on the other side. And in the back, we've got a couple of screenshots. We've got the tank right here. We've got the robot right here. A couple of QR codes. I'm not sure what they are used for. This, I guess, is for the Toy World website. And I'm not too sure about the two others, though. Uh, we've got uh, signs not to uh, choke on things. Legal stuff, I guess. All right, so let's stop wasting time. So let's open up the box. So first up, when you open up the box, you are treated with pavement. <laughs> We've got a really, really nice looking pavement uh, plastic thing. We also have the instructions. Let's just come back to this afterward. We've got a cover foam right here. We've got Bulldog right here. That is really amazing. Just going to put them aside for now. And accessory wise, we've got a helmet. Really cool helmet. It looks like a. Uh, uh, I, I was gonna say a minor helmet, like a digger, but uh, it's also an army helmet, I guess. Uh, it's a really nice helmet. You can put it on on the robot mode, but uh, you cannot transform if you ha if he has uh, that uh, helmet on. So, yeah, this helmet doesn't fit into the tank mode, so that's a little bit bummer. But um, it does come also with a replacement head and a mask so we have the mask uh, the replacement head here and it looks really nice we have a mask sort of like a gas mask the uh, really cool you can give him the uh, helmet there's a sort of a tiny tiny groove on top right here the groove goes in front of his head and it locks the helmet uh, yeah so this is a little bit too big of my taste but it works but yeah, you can put him on this uh, head. We also have a mask, and the mask, uh, really cool looking. I think we can put it on this head too, but we can put it on the other one also. So the mask sort of like goes like this and goes like this. Sort of the redundant, because this one has also, also is a mask. This one is a mask also. So yeah, you can put this also on the other face. So, yeah, we got these two. One mask, one head. <laughs> so, really cool. Let's put these aside for now and come back later. We've got, uh, well, there's nothing else in the box. So, yeah, let's throw this away. Got the instructions right here. And your instructions were way too simple for my taste. There's the, it's not complicated, but there's a lot of steps that you have to be careful with transforming in. And the instructions are basically like 16 steps or something like it's really small you have again the art right here movie studio series whatever and transformation is really 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 basic the instructions is really basic yeah i'll show a more in-depth transformation in your video but yeah we have also the other release and i really cannot wait to see them we all have um seen the prototype of freedom later which looks awesome and huge I don't know if these ones are going to be as huge, 
but I really can't wait to see how they look and if they are really triple changers. So let's cross uh, fingers and wait for them in their time. Now the pavement is, wow, seriously, so it's just plastic? Nothing to it, but seriously, the paint job and everything is just it looks like real granite, you know. It's just really, really nice. So we just set a piece, and we have a base for it. And yeah, really, really nice. The I really, really love this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it looks really good. It feels great. So, I don't know how they pulled it, but it, it's, like I said, it actually looks like real granite, real bricks. So, you can either put, like, a brick wall, or just a brick floor, brick street, but, uh, yeah, two pieces aside. And here we have the Mark I tank, and, ah, oh, man, it's really an amazing figure. Let's just, uh, this one, just, uh, is it really badly transformed, or, yeah, okay. Alright, so now it's better. So yeah, we've got a tank right here. There's nothing really, there. there's no wheels. We do have tiny cannons on each side and these are sort of, uh, sort of uh, on ball joints, but they are so tight, they are scary. So yeah, you can move it up, down, left, right, but it's really scary to move around, so I don't recommend playing with them. These one doesn't move, so don't play with those. But, uh, on my, I think it was this one, it was loose, it still does a little bit, kind of moves. This one is solid, but it's only a screw inside, so I screwed it a little bit tighter, just to make it, because it was really loose on mine. So, it's not a big deal. And we have, like, tons of details. We have the uh, Bulldog right here, E75, and it's exactly like this in the movie. I checked the scenes, uh, this morning, just to make sure, and it's actually the same paint job. The same Bulldog tempo, the, the same E75, so it's a really accurate uh, representation. So it's really nice. You have some rust, and yeah, it looks really damn cool. It's the first time that uh, Toyo World release a uh, fully painted, uh, highly detailed, rusty looking figure first. So I'm not sure what they went for it, because usually they would have just you know, made a full, normal, colored version, and months later they would have re re-edited it and make it like a battle damage or rust looking thing, and yeah. But uh, yeah, we have the first of the uh, rusty looking version, and it's amazing. I am so in love with it. So yeah, uh, we go have a cannon right here again. Nothing articulated. So it's just like this. Underneath, cleans up very nice. You have a little bit of robot kibble, but it's not that bad. And we do have one thing that shakes up in here, and I'll show it up later. It's just a piece that is sort of loose, but it, everything tabs in so securely. It's not a ma It's not even a problem uh, when uh, when we get there. So I'm not too sure what to try to to compare it with because I don't have a lot of uh, World War One transformers. So I, I'm just gonna pull. Uh, here is Cog from the same movie, so the last night we have Cog right here, so Cog obviously is a little bit too big for him. We have Optimus Prime again from the last night. So yeah, it's sort of a really small tank. They are, it is a, um, a uh, deluxe size one, and I'm really glad that we came back for the uh, deluxe size. Everything was so masterpiece-esque recently, but... I miss the old chugs and uh, the Lux uh, figures, so we're back to it, and I really, really am happy with those. So this is more like a studio series, I guess, or a little deluxe size. So yeah, we have Cog uh, from the movie Bumblebee, maybe. We have the uh, old uh, Camaro Bumblebee. Move these aside. So yeah. It fits a little bit better, but still the yeah, like they are pretty much the same size. Obviously, this one is much compact, more heavy, and more durable than this one, but still looks decent. And uh, we can maybe what I, what I'm gonna pose him with is my uh, master B, mastermind creation uh, Hearts of Iron 
series because there are all the oldish transformers so we have hearts of iron trains i also have my uh i think it's the uh, dark of the moon ransack so it's a biplane from world war ii world war one uh yeah so mastermind once made a series of hearts of iron series called the. Uh, well, Hearts of Iron, but they were based off all locomotive, all uh, Transformers. What if Transformers would have fallen to the earth in the uh, the Bronze Age? So well, they're really cool, and I think I'm gonna pose him with them. So <laughs> they are really nice. Really love the series and Ransack. Uh, there's a uh, new series, uh, uh, still from the same series of uh, Bulldog. The uh, Toy World made a uh, three wing, so it's exactly the same plane, but with three wings. Uh, Starscream, and it looks so damn good. I'm also gonna have it as soon as they uh, put them on sale. I'm gonna order it for sure. <laughs> it looks really nice. So, yeah, I've got Ransack right here. They also have a uh, sort of old grayish um, uh, Rolls Royce Bumblebee. Also gonna have it. It looks so damn good. <laughs> All right, so transformation now. So, yeah, like I said, it's not a complicated one. It's just there's a lot of weird steps that you have to be careful with. So, first up, lift the cannon right here. So the cannon piece just opens up like this, and the instructions just tells you to pull this down and don't do this. <laughs> As you pull it down, but you want to also put it uh, pull it on the side like this first, and then pull it down like this. So pull it on the side and pull it down. Because by pulling it on the side, um, the chest, these panel on the chest, sort of locks away in uh, under here. So you have to pull it out, off so that it goes out. And yeah. So yeah, you got this like this. So we already have the robot head right here and the legs. Bring here the panels opened up like this. Like this. And these threads. Uh, needs to be open like this. The, these tabs are really tight, so be really careful. It's just just put some some strength on it. It helps. Or you can just uh, lift this up like this. It's gonna pull it out. So if, you, if it's tabbed like this, you can just. Yeah, it's really tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. So you have these threads like this. Now you want to pull the legs out and bring it really uh, in diagonal like this so that these panels flip and go over like this but otherwise it won't be because of these gears right here yeah, that blocks the way so be careful so let's do it on the other side pull the leg out and pull it on the side like this flip this down and bring it on the side like this Voila. You want to take the torso and rotate it around, and it, the, the uh, rotation joint is really freaking tight, so be careful, we'll just be mindful of it. Alright, so uh, we got the legs like this. Bring these panels up like this, and then close them on the side. There's a tab right here, and a hole right here, so one plus one, close it in, dab it in, like this. As for the feet now, I uh, want to bring the threads like this, just sort of like T-pose. Uh, flip the foot like this and then flip it out like this. Next up you have this panel right here that you need to flip it all the way down like this. Flip the uh, th that wheel right here, flip it down like this and now you can rotate the front toe thread like this and you can bring the thread over like this it's not really gonna peg it just stays there it's not it's not the best I would have liked if it would have just pegged but yeah beggars can be choosers all right so bring this wheel down and one of the thing I was saying like the shaky thing it's uh probably the other one whoops but this hammer right here is all die cast so you, you have to flip it down as you bring it up like this, there's a peg hole inside of the uh, metal hammer, and there's a peg right here. So just bring it up, 
and peg it in. This will hold the um, heel. So, yeah, real cool. And we've got uh, one foot done. So, all right, let's do the same on the other side. Uh, bring this 90 degree, flip this open, bring it down like this, bring the wheel down, flip this panel up like this and down like this, flip the toe all the way around like this, put the thread over the top, bring the hammer down here, flip this around, and peg it in like so. And we're pretty much done with the other foot. So now you just have to uh, sort out chicken leg like this, like this. So now you have both legs done. Voila. Do -do 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 -do. Let's move the camera a little bit up. All right, so for the arms now, bring it to the back like this. Uh, lift this up as uh, straight as you can, and you want to flip the back panel down. So there's two big tabs here that pegs inside of here, so you want to bring these down. You need to flip this all the way around, and there's a lot of stuff that will get in the way. So just force it a little bit like this. There's a tab here that gets in the way. Uh, you want to raise it up a little bit, Close these panel down and flip it like this. So close the panel here and flip it like this. All right, next up you can see right here, we can see the, the arms all folded up inside. So the easiest way is just to take the cannons. Be really careful about the uh, tip of the cannons. These are, um, these scare me. They're, they're not fragile, but they, they do scare me. So anyway, just take the arms and just sort of lift tip like this a little bit just like 95 degrees and then unpeg them there's a peg holding the elbows together so unpeg them bring them up like this unfold the arms as much as you can other one also flip the hands and all right next up these panels need to be lifted up so, and then you can see there is hooks right here. There's sort of hooks, so you need to bring the arms down and the hooks needs to sort of hook on the panels like this. They don't peg or anything, they just hook on them. So flip them down and they're hooked. Now there's two tiny pegs on the top and there's two holes in the tank threads. So you need to bring this up. Oh wait, before doing that, flip the cannon down and then flip this up and then you need to just adjust everything so that they fit in perfectly we've got one down and this one come on you can do it and voila so now they are both pegged perfectly all right so let's bring the figure like this fix everything and all you have to do now is just bring these cannons down down like this now these cannons can peg off really easily so be mindful of that uh, they just pegged in perfectly in it's just really really tight but yeah they do fit so now we have bulldog all transform you can open up the wrists uh, the fingers like this so just adjust fingers accordingly yeah, I'm gonna get back to this afterward, but yeah, <laughs> the joints are so tight on the figure, it's just insane. But yeah, we have Bulldog All Transform, and he looks so awesome. Really, really, really nice. <laughs> I am so in love with the figure. Uh, we have some details right here. The head is really nice. We do have some blue eyes with some metallic for the uh, monocle. We can remove the cap, but yeah, uh, arms are on a pole joints, so it can flip all the way around. There is a flip here, which is mostly for uh, transformation, but worse, we have a ball joint elbow. We have a wrist oh, right here, but seriously, the wrists on both are extremely hard, 
So I'm really, really afraid that one time, like just with age, with time, like these are just gonna snap off. They are so tight, and it's the same thing for the fingers. The fingers go up and down, well, open up and close, but they are really freaking tight. So be mindful of that. Otherwise, we do have waist rotation like this. The head uh, is on a ball joint, so you can move up, down, uh, can rotate. The beard sort of hinders on the shoulder, but eh, it's not that bad. Like this. Uh, legs are on uh, rotation joint like this. The uh, threads does hinders on the gear on the side of the waist. So you can move it around. Just be mindful. Do you have a butterfly joint right here? We, we don't have butterfly. Uh, I was sure there was a butterfly joint although. But yeah, we do have a leg bend right here. We do have another knee bend right here. We do have ankle tilt. And also up and down. So yeah, he is pretty articulated, but yeah, looks really damn cool. Now I did see early pictures where the cannons, where you can remove him, he was holding them as pistol. We cannot do that anymore. I don't know if they fixed it, they changed it, but uh, we can remove the cannon from the shoulder. Only these two, the, the ones right here, you cannot uh, remove them. These you can, but they don't fit anywhere else. So. Uh, they, they, he cannot hold them as pistols. He cannot store them anywhere. It's a little bit, yeah. So there, he doesn't have any weapon beside the shoulder-mounted cannons. But uh, yeah, uh, we can, like I said, change the helmets, uh, the the uh, the cap. So we do have the uh, army helmet. It looks really cool. But uh, I really like the uh, cap, Captain Cap. And like I said, we can take the mask, and the mask just sort of peg on the ears, like this, and voila. Now you can put back the helmet, or the, the, uh, the captain hat, like this. The captain hat doesn't look too good with it, but I uh, prefer the uh, soldier one. Looks better. Like I said, the, the helmet though is uh, just too big and cannot be transformed into tank uh, by, uh, with it. So, yeah. And if you want, you can just pop. Well, let's just remove the uh, mask. Well, the mask can flip up and down. So, that's cool, I guess. But uh, you can remove it. Yeah, you can pop up the head. It's just a ball joint. And you can replace it with the other head with the other mask. Like this. But only have the gas mask. And again, the gas mask, you can also put the uh, captain hat. Which looks pretty nice. And you can also put the uh, soldier hat. Which looks even better. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, you cannot transform him uh, with the cat's, uh, the uh, the helmet. So I'm not gonna use it. It's a really uh, disappointing, but yeah, still cool. And let's just remove this one because I really like the old head. I really like the monocle and the blue eyes. It looks so nice. And I really cool. I really dig the old captain hat. So yeah, really, really dig this figure. To me, it's a uh, contender for uh, 2019's best or my favorite at least figure now uh, yeah there's one thing that I need to mention in it I, I can understand it, it it can be seen as a problem but to me it's also a positive I guess but the figure reeks of uh, sort of oil or grease that's weird but yeah, there, I, I understand there's tons of metal, uh, not uh, die cast uh, plates, but uh, joints like the thighs are made of metal, uh, the, that joint is made of metal, the uh, other joint in the ankle is uh, also made of metal. But uh, he just smells a lot like uh, grease, that's weird, oil, grease. <sighs> On one side... Uh, the smell but in here on the other side it's an old machine so <laughs> I still think it's really cool it smells like oil machine it is an oiling machine 
<laughs> I really dig it. Here's the back. We do have the cows right here. It's not empty. The feet are just a little bit hollow, but um, still looks good. Back, the plates, the tiny wings. The wings, you can move them around as you wish. I like it like this. But yeah, like I said, the, the weird odor. Yeah, whew, totally. He does smell like oil. But <laughs> I don't know why. Well, grease, oil. I don't know why. I don't see any oil or grease on the joints. And like I said, some are so tight. The wrists and fingers are exceptionally tight and I'm really afraid they won't uh, pass the time and they will break at some point really afraid of that but uh yeah uh, there's no weapon mm, there's only the, the helmets and the head replacement and these cannons right here but a little bit disappointing that there is uh, no weapon but he still looks so damn good I really love the figure maybe we can do some comparison with his uh, old peers so we can uh, do a little comparison with the uh, same movie line. Oops. So we got Cog and Optimus Prime from the last night. Uh, as you can see, he's pretty much uh, he's a big deluxe compared to uh, Cog, but he's a small Voyager compared to uh, Optimus Prime. But still, it fits really nice because uh, I believe he is uh, of the uh, same good height. Uh, you know, he was bigger than Cog and. Well, he, even though he didn't have any scenes with Optimus Prime, he seems uh, to be the scale. I'm not an expert, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, other comparison, we have uh, like Bumblebee, which uh, is uh, much smaller. And uh, again, I do believe um, he is a, a, of a good height. Uh, in the movie, Bumblebee was uh, smaller, I guess, than uh, Bulldog. And just for the fun of it, um, <laughs> With the uh, line I'm gonna pose him with in my uh, shelves, we had the uh, World War esque uh, Transformers. So we have the uh, Mastermind Creation uh, uh, Optimus Prime Train. We have the uh, I think it was Dark of the Moon Ransacked, and we have uh, MS Toys. I'm not sure. I've got MS Toys Bumblebee, or is it the? I, I, I totally forgot who made him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a uh, really cool figure. And yeah, I don't, I don't have any more to else say to say about it. It's, it's a really, really. Ooh, my lights are uh, blinking. All right, so yeah, like I said, my it's a really awesome figure, and to me, it is potentially one of my favorite figures so far of the year. Mm, it's so, so awesome. <laughs> There's the oily. Uh, odor that is kind of odd for a transformer toy, but then again, I think it's cool, I guess. I mean, it's not cool to have weird odors in my apartment, but you know, mechanic, old looking, rusty robot, uh, having the smell of oil or grease, uh, I think it's uh, it's interesting. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, um, did, did, my only grip maybe would be like this, though, that is like. Uh, that doesn't peg anywhere. I would have liked uh, if it would have pegged somewhere, like just on the thread, like right here. We'll just hold it. But uh, yeah, it's not that bad. But I just would have liked it. But otherwise, I still think it's uh, one of the better figure I've had this year alone. So good. Uh, doesn't hold any weapon. Doesn't have any weapon besides the shoulder cannons. Still uh, really cool. I'm not gonna uh, remove points for it. Transformation is really fun. The the look is just amazing. <laughs> no backpack or anything. It's just such an amazing figure. I am gonna get all of the rest from the same series of World War II uh, robots. That I can guarantee you. So, yeah, I highly suggest going and picking up this figure. The <laughs> That uh, thing, uh, it is really nice. That the granite looking thing, it's just amazing. So I, I just can't say how much I love this figure enough. It's just that good. Go and pick it up. It's honestly one of my favorite figure of the year so far. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, like, subscribe, keep uh, keep in touch because I am gonna receive a ton of really nice exclusive uh, special Transformers really soon. Like. A couple of days <laughs> so stay tuned and uh, hope you enjoy thank you for watching and see you next time